Till now we have seen how to use import when you are trying to import various modules. We have already seen it many times, but let's summarize it once. <clears throat> so if you have import a module, the keyword that you are going to write to is in key import and uh, you have to write the module name. Let's see. If I have import turtle, I can write turtle module. Now inside the turtle module, turtle class is present. Now, if you have to use the turtle class and create an object of turtle, then I'm using Timmy as an object. So I'm creating an object of turtle class. So if you observe it, we have to write the entire module name followed by dot followed by the class name. But if you are going to do it again and again, this way of doing it is not very efficient. So we can actually use a different method where we can use from keyword from turtle import turtle class. So whatever you want to use in your program, you can say its name directly if it is one or two items. Okay. For example, we want to import turtle class. So from turtle import turtle class. Now the advantage is we don't have to write package name now. We have imported turtle directly so you can use directly turtle as if it is present in your own file. So we are directly using turtle. So if you have to write it multiple times instead of importing it like this, importing like this is a better way. Okay. Now if you have to import multiple things like if you want to import turtle and screen and some other classes then in that case it is better to use a star so it will import everything present inside the uh, turtle module and you can use the name and use it for example from turtle import star is written now you can directly use turtle name the class of the turtle without using a module name. Also, you can use screen also. Screen is also present in turtle. You can use screen. Okay. So if you have to import multiple things, then putting a star is going to be helpful. Right. And now there is one more way you can cut down the writing, writing of names so much. So you are going to use as as keyword so this is aliasing so import turtle as t means from now on you can refer to turtle as t that is called aliasing okay import turtle as t now you can directly say t dot turtle so you can use any of these methods, whichever you feel you are comfortable with, you can use them. When you are reading programs, when you are reading uh, projects of Python, you will see one of them being used in order to import. Then you will get confused. That is why I am taking this here. Okay. Now let us say there is some module which is not installed. Turtle comes with the standard Python library. You don't have to install it separately, but there are many modules which are not actually part of standard library. And if you have to use them, you have to install them before using them. For example, there is a module called Heroes. So Heroes module is used. Now it is not a part of standard library. If I try to say import Heroes, it is going to give you a red bulb here. In PyCharm, red bulb will be there. If you click on red bulb, then it is saying install package. If you click on it, it is going to install. It is going to take some time. But anyway, this is what this is going to do. Okay. So whenever you don't have any package, you can use the red bulb and you can type install and then it will automatically install in PyCharm. I am assuming that you are all using PyCharm. Okay. Yeah. Package is successfully installed. We got it. Now, interesting thing about this heroes module is it will give you superhero names. It will make up the superhero names and give it to you so that you can use in your wherever you want. 
so it will give you superhero names for example if i say uh, heroes.gen this is going to give you uh, generate a superhero name so let's try to print it so something called as dog savage some name some random name is given similarly villains is also there you know it is not a part of standard library if you want to import it you can use it at bulk when import it otherwise there are other ways where you, by use by which you can import them we will see them later okay so one is uh, okay so fine thank you now before going to the next concept you have to understand a concept of higher order functions a function can take other function as an argument so let us say there is a function a here and then there is a function b here now you are calling function a by passing function b so a function can take other function as an input i'm not talking about the values it is taking a function as an input you have not seen this so this then function a is called higher order function okay one thing you have to observe here is when you are passing a function to other function then you are not actually going to write parenthesis here you can see that fun only function name is given not the parenthesis if you give parenthesis then the function will execute there itself but that is not what we want we want to pass it as an argument to other function this is called as higher order function okay now let's go to the concept where uh, we want to interact with the turtle screen with the gui which means when you when you type or when you press a key on the keyboard then some event has to happen then we are going to add something called as event listeners okay this is called as event listeners now if you go to the documentation of python there you can see that yeah here screen events is there and then you can see that listen is there so if you call the method listen on screen then it will start click on it then it will set focus on the turtle screen dummy arguments are provided okay you can you can ignore that so in order to collect key events so if you see this it is going to collect the key events from the input from the user and it is going to store them so that is where listen is going to be useful and then there is one more function on key so when you type some key if something has to happen then you have to write a event listener and for that we are going to use on key now on key is going to take fun fun is a function one function fun and the other one has the key so when you type that key this particular function will be called what i mean to say is event listeners means if you type some key what is the action that you want to perform that you have to write as a function and provide it with example you will be able to understand it let's go to the example let's go to turtle module let's import both the screen and turtle from the turtle module let's create a turtle it a turtle object is created called team now with screen you know what we are going to do we are going to create a screen object and then we are going to write click on exit click on exit should always be the last line now let this screen listen to the events so for that we are going to say screen dot listen so that it will capture the key strokes that you are going to make it is going to capture that and then we are going to write an event listener so for that we are going to write a function to say what has to happen if something some key is being typed so we are writing a function a simple function which will move the turtle forward by 10 paces it is a simple function and now we are passing keyword arguments 
Now, when space is pressed, then this forward has to happen, move forward has to happen. So when I write like this, whenever a space is pressed on the keyboard, keyboard, then the turtle will move forward by 10 places. Okay, let's now run it. <clears throat> now, let's press space. When you are pressing space, you can see that turtle is moving forward by 10 places, right? So this is how event listeners are going to be useful. Let's go to the program once. Now if we observe it clearly, when someone types space, then move forward is going to be called. This is called as event. So event, the event is space and this is the event listener. On key is the event listener, which is going to take a other function, which we are going to provide, which means we have to say what should happen on what key. Like, like this, you can write any number of event listeners. Now, if you observe one thing, this function on key, this method on key, or a function, for now let's call it function, this function on key is taking as a parameter move forwards. So, one function is taking other function as a parameter, and this is called as on key is called as higher order function. Okay? So, higher order functions will take other functions as parameters and internally what will happen on key is internally it is going to take this and run this code whatever code you have sent okay thank you